You know it's going to be a good day when Dunkin' Donuts actually gets your coffee order right. Thank you! Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Um, happy weekend to you because it is Saturday morning and it is a glorious day outside and by glorious I mean raining. So what I thought I would do today is test out my new tripod. You guys can finally see what I'm working with in terms of vanity. No, it's not great. But anyway, um, I'm going to do my Holy Grail products of fall 2016. Uh, as the seasons change, I see that a lot of my makeup changes, my skin changes, so therefore the makeup that I use does change. So these are my Holy Grail products of uh, fall 2016. And if you are interested, then just keep on watching. Obviously, the first thing that you need to do is use a primer. Now, since I have been breaking out as of recently, I don't know if it's because of my new foundation or what it is, hormonal, I have no idea what it is, but I have been using the Clinique 3-step um, acne system as opposed to the Clinique 3-step regular system. So it does tend to dry up my skin a little bit, so what I've actually been using is the Too Faced Hangover um, RX primer. What I love about this is that it's moisturizing, it has um, coconut water and probiotic based ingredients in it. and. The first thing that I love, love, love about this is that it's silicone free. I love my Porefessional. I think it's great to minimize my pores, but it, it has silicone in it, so it does feel like it's clogging my pores. This feels more like a very, very moisturizing lotion, and with the acne system being used, I have chosen to take a more moisturizing primer and put it on my face as opposed to something that has silicone. Um, that's more of like a spring, summer type thing for me with the sweating and my pores getting a little bit larger than they actually are. So this is my primer of choice for fall. And let's move on to the next step, which is foundation. Okay, like I said, I do have acne prone skin right now, unfortunately, so I do need to use some sort of an oil free type of foundation. Uh, it needs to be, you know, non clogging and all of that doctor, you know, approved kind of things. And you guys know that I do love my Clinique, so what I started to do was actually um, use the Clinique foundation. This is the Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. And I am in the shade, super light, I am in the shade 01 Linen, which is very fair neutral. Normally I'm cool, but this is what they actually match me to in Sephora. I've been loving this foundation. It does stay matte for a really long time. Um, I know that with the fall, my you know skin tends to dry out, so matte may not be the best choice, but with this in combination with the primer, I don't find any issue in terms of it actually drying out my face. So the next step that I do use is a concealer. I know that a lot of people use this, a lot of people love it. I had used it in the past. I didn't particularly care for the formula, but I believe that I was actually using the incorrect one. So the one that I picked up, which I know you guys have probably seen a million times on YouTube that I use is the Maybelline Asia Wine Instant Dark Circle Eraser. I believe that's what it's called. It is a treatment. It has goji berry and some other awesome stuff in it but when I find when I put this on and I let it sit a little bit which by the way this applicator is great for applying uh, the concealer underneath my eyes because I have ridiculous under eye bags so this brightens up the area and if I bring it down a little bit if you do like the upside down triangle it does brighten up right here which is great um, it makes you look a little bit more awake you know <laughs> less eye bag thing going on uh, especially when you have a toddler running around the house so this is my go-to I feel like this is probably like a year around holy grail but this is definitely the first thing I reach for and the next thing that I do reach for that I use is a setting powder and I will show you what I use for my setting powder okay another YouTube favorite that is talked about a ton with people that have oily skin 
I use this on my entire face in the spring and summer. Uh, it's been a little bit hot in here. Hot in here. Hot in the bathroom. Okay, on the bathroom. It's been a little hot in New Jersey in the past week, so I used it on my entire face. But this time um, today, it was raining outside, it wasn't humid, so what I do in the fall is I use the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is so unbelievably cheap. You can get it almost at any, get it at any drugstore that sells Rimmel. It's like three or four dollars. It's, it's seriously, I feel like I've had this thing for like a year. I haven't had it for a year, but I feel like I've had it for a year. And I only use this in my T-zone, so I just put some right here, down my nose, and on my chin. And if I feel like it's going to be humid outside, I do put a little bit on my cheeks. It keeps me matte all day long, so from the time I apply my makeup at about 6.15 in the morning until I get home at night from work, which is about 5 o'clock, right before I take my makeup off it keeps me mad keeps me mad excuse me all day long this is definitely a holy grail year-round but you have to use maybe a little bit less of this during the drier months because you don't want to completely dry out your skin and make it look completely matte so what I do to make my skin look not completely matte is use the next step which is my favorite blush for the fall. Um, I actually like the fact that I can mix drugstore and I can mix high-end type items. I'm just taking this thing out. It's like so pointless. What I use is the Wet n Wild color icon. It's called Apricot in the middle. It looks like this. It's one of these. Uh, it says it has a new formula. I don't really know. I've never used Wet n Wild blush before, but I fell in love with this color from the second that I saw it. It it does have a little bit of a sparkle and a sheen to it, as you can see, but it is more of a terracotta type apricot. Oh my gosh, it's like in the name apricot color to it. So it just adds a little bit of color to your face, but I don't in the fall and the winter maybe in the winter but not necessarily in the fall I don't like that pinky um, blush thing going on I want you know something a little bit warmer something that looks uh, a little more natural than if I was to be out in the Sun and say I wanted like more of a blush look so a, a traditional blush look so this is I think this was like four dollars and I know that this pan is huge and it's gonna last me for a really really long time I'm so unbelievably happy with this product so that I think that I'm probably gonna go out when I change my blush up for the season I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna look for one of these so that is the entire face section of it so now we're going to get to the eyes so starting with the eyes, the first thing that I do when I do my eyes is my eyebrows. This will also come as no surprise to any of you probably because everybody uses this, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, Brow Wiz, excuse me. It comes with, you know, the very, very fine tip right there that is great for getting in um, to create little type of like textured hair looks. And the other side does have a spoolie. Honestly, there's nothing too exciting about that. So, I mean, that was just, this is just my holy grail for my eyebrows. It's quick, it's easy, it works, it's beautiful, it stays on all day. Love it, can't say enough about it, um, but not super exciting. So I'm just gonna throw that in there because I do still use it. But this I have found now, I have been using every day and I think that it's because I want a little less sparkle. It's the fall, I want to tone it down a little bit. And this palette is perfect for that. This is the new Urban Decay um, Naked Ultimate Basics palette. It has all matte shades except for one which you put underneath your eyebrow for the highlighting color. It comes with this ridiculously huge mirror right here. You get all of these shades. You get a brush that comes with it. Um, I have been using this religiously. You can create so many looks with this thing. It's unbelievable. This is my first, um, I would say, like name brand palette that I've bought. Not like the small ones, but this is like the first, like kind of like naked palette that I've bought. And I'm completely obsessed with it. I love it to death. It lasts 
forever if you put the primer on because I do have oily eyelids. The pigmentation for matte is great. Um, blending is super easy. I love this to death. Can't say enough good things about it. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. So after I'm done putting on my eyeshadow, um, I do do an eyeliner and I do it very basic because we're talking about daily type work here. I mean, I work obviously five days a week. I have a normal office job. So I do minimal makeup. But the new product that I found that I am completely obsessed with is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. And that is a freaking mouthful. Uh, I recently went against the grain. I'm obsessed with the Kat Von D. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I've been using it forever. I think it was my first ever Sephora purchase a couple years ago. But after, um, it, it, it just kind of felt like it was getting old to me a little bit. And it just didn't have that real black color that I wanted and I had heard that this also helped boost your lashes after four weeks you're supposed to see some sort of an improvement in your lashes I figured why not I tried it I fell in love with it I mean the packaging is super sturdy and it's beautiful and this is what the tip looks like I believe and correct me if I'm wrong I believe this is a brush tip not a felt tip because when I was putting this on my eyes, I did realize that I had a lot more, um, it bended a lot better. Um, I had a little bit more control when I was doing my eye. I still had that precision because it is still a fine tip, but I definitely had a lot of control. And I look forward in a couple weeks to seeing if this actually does do anything for your eyelashes and boosting them and making them grow a little bit because I don't have stubby eyelashes, but who doesn't want bigger eyelashes? I mean, seriously, come on. So that is what I've been using for this. This is the holy grail of eyeliners for me right now. I'm so sorry, Kat Von D. Maybe it'll work out later. Maybe I'll get sick of this one but I don't think so and for ten dollars less it's probably gonna end up being this one so what I do to finish off my eyes is obviously mascara now I found this mascara ooh gosh at Sephora online um, and I was like that's really adorable packaging I love that packaging it's fantastic and it turns out that it became my favorite mascara ever I mean, I I cannot find a mascara that I love more than this one. And you guys have seen this. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I finally bought it in full size. This is like unheard of for me. Normally I'll just buy the travel size, but I actually did spend the extra money and I got the full size. If you guys have not yet seen this, um, I'm sure you have, but here's the brush. You can tell that it is curved. It does hold the curl a lot better than anything I've ever used. I do not have to use um, any type of, you know, like eyelash curler. It does help, but um, I don't have to use it. And I am obsessed with this. It doesn't flake. It's perfect, the perfect shade of black. It's not like clumpy. You can put on two coats without it getting that spider effect. And I am absolutely obsessed with it. So, that's how I do my eyes, um, and I only have two more products left for you guys for my holy grail for the fall, so um, let me just go grab those and I will be right back. So this is the last item in my normal daily wear, but I will include a bonus item when I feel like I have the time to actually take, you know, do my makeup fully. Um, but this is a tried and true the second I bought this, I went out and I bought another one. I'm obsessed with it. It lasts so unbelievably long. The color selection is phenomenal. It doesn't flake off your lips. It kind of does. And the girl at Sephora laughed at me. I told her, you know, when it comes off of my lips, because it is going to come off your lips eventually. Kind of like does this like ombre type of effect off of your lips. I don't know what it is, but it does it. But this should be no surprise, I've mentioned this in previous videos. This is the Sephora um, Cream Lip Stain and it is in Blackberry Sorbet. And I mean, can we just love 
this color. I mean, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now. It is a berry color. It's so beautiful. You only need a little bit. I find that if you take this out and you put on what's on the applicator and then you put it on your lips, it's like way too much. So what I do is I just scrape a little bit of it off. A little bit goes a long way. It's not patchy. Like I said, it lasts forever for me because I'm, you know, tea, coffee, food, snacks, whatever the girls at work bring in. And this lasts through all of them. I actually just gave um, the one in Marvelous Mauve to my friend who plays the uh, trombone, if I am not mistaken. Hi! Um, and I told her, please use this. Like, this will last through you playing your instrument. Hopefully it worked for her. I haven't yet heard, but I'm I'm pretty positive it's going to work. So this is the end of the holy grail in terms of my everyday makeup, but I am gonna add one more item as a bonus item, yay! Um, and I think you guys will be a little surprised about what it is, because this is something I've never ever said that I've used before, but I find myself using it a little bit more now, so let me grab it. All right, as promised, here is my bonus item. I only do this when I have the time to do it, and it's really not often, but I've been trying to use it way more often. I'm obsessed with this brand. I think this is a very underrated, um, not highly known brand, and I believe that everybody should know about it. I actually told my coworker, who also does makeup, that I'm bringing in palettes for her to try out because she needs to try them out. They're cheap. The pigmentation's great on everything. There's so many choices. It's just I'm gonna shut up and just show you the product. So the product is the Makeup Revolution contouring palette. Now. I don't normally contour. I mean, it's not something that's like my everyday thing. But I mean, first of all, hello mirror, like huge mirror, right? And then it comes with these three contour shades down here. It comes with these highlighting shades up here. And then you get these kind of like baked highlighter, super, super shiny. I'm just gonna swipe these for you and you guys can maybe see them. But I mean, Super shiny, pigment is awesome, I it's so creamy, it doesn't feel chalky or cheap, and this palette is only, I believe, $15, but I got it at Ulta when they had a sale and it was buy one, get one half off, so I bought all three, and they're back here, of the palettes that are the dupes for the naked, and they were like $7.00. So seven, 50% off, it's like 350. So that, it was like $11 for two palettes, guys, that's ridiculous. Like that's awesome, I loved it. But I had to pick up a fourth item, so I picked up the contour palette because I don't normally do this. But I will tell you that this shade right here for me is perfect for contouring. I mean, it blends in really nicely. It's not too dark. I mean, you do have a darker shade here, so this would be good for somebody who wants to maybe start a kit if they're doing some sort of freelancing or they're doing makeup on other people or if you get tanner. Um, but you have so many different options in this palette that it's just, it's so worth the $15. So that's what I bought. I do have a little bit of highlighter on my face right here. I normally don't put highlighter on and you can see it a little bit. I know my lighting isn't super great in here guys. Um, but I am just, I'm just obsessed with Makeup Revolution. I think it's a great brand. I wish that I could be their ambassador and I wish that they would pay me to promote their products, but it's not gonna happen. So that is my last bonus item, and uh, th those are all my holy grails for the fall. I mean, I am so happy that I can find products that work for me, so let me just give you my final thoughts after I decide to put away all of these items. Uh, my cleaning OCD kicked in. I have cleaned everything up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there's any products that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below if you've tried them before, if you like them. Um, if you guys want, I can give you a list of how much each item was because I do have a good mix
mixture, I believe, of like high end and low end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys later. Bye!